What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Main Deck Monday, and today we are looking over an Evotol, Evotol X, Zork, Regirock, Smeargle deck. Now, on Saturday, we actually showcased kind of the same deck, but instead of the Smeargle and Regirock, we had in uh, Glade, and this deck kind of popped over last weekend, it was played some weekend, Max Armitage actually showed his list off on Facebook, so shout out to Max for actually, you know, showing his list, a lot of people don't do that, but I guess Max is kind enough to do that, uh, you, I've seen him in some of the interviews that we have done, he's from the uh, Texas area, so shout out to Max for doing that, and the thing is, I, I, I just got back from cities, I don't have a time, uh, enough time to make a new deck, uh, for main deck Monday, so we're gonna do this deck for today. And I I got second at cities Saturday and Sunday. I didn't do good at all. Uh, Saturday I played Evital Glade Zorg deck, and day two I played a Wobbuffet Bats deck, and I dead drew. And I recorded both those match or both those as well. Both those cities will be uploaded. I'm just trying to figure out if I should commentate over them. Or put music over them. It's a definitely a thing I have to think about right now. And if I have enough time to commentate all the matches. Because they were best two out of three. Which, you know, it uh, takes a while to commentate over those. But we'll see what happens. I'll find out for sure what to do. But let's go over the deck. Uh, once again, shout out to Max for doing this. Now, if you watch the Saturday video, I'll have the link down below where you can see it. I explained a lot about this deck. But it's a little bit different now with the Regirock. So, let's go over some th main things first. The main thing is he plays a Zorark Break, which has the Foul Play attack. Choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks and use it as this attack. Now, you don't need the right energy requirement. You can just use it automatically. And when I was actually talking about Breakthrough, I said that Zorark and Zorark Break were my favorite cards that come out of Break. And I'm actually, I'm really, really happy that Zorark is doing great now. You know, it's, it's pretty much everywhere. Almost every deck plays it. Uh, the break is definitely not played that much, but it is great. And the cool thing is, you can use it for Tyrantrum, which is definitely, like, the harder ma the hardest matchup for Evitol, because they can just keep one-shotting your Evitols over and over again. And maybe the break could help swing it. So we play a 3-2-1 break line. Now, the main difference, like I said, between this and Saturday's video is that Saturday's video, we had the Glade, and the Glade just need a DCE, but Regirock has a Fighting and a Colorless for 40, and a Fighting and a DCE for 60, and if your opponent's act Pokemon is a Pokemon EX, this attack does 60 more damage, which is 120, times that by 2 for a Lightning Pokemon, and that's 240, and that is a knockout. Now, you might be saying, how do you power up Regirock? He needs a Fighting and a DCE. Well, you have Smeargle with second coat. Once during your turn before you attack, you may switch a basic energy card attached to your active Pokemon with a different type of basic energy card from your discard pile. So now you can make, the, uh, like let's say you Oblivion Wing from Evasol, 30-30, attached dark energy onto Regirock. You can now use Smeargle to transform that dark energy into a fighting energy and then next turn, or the same turn, put a DC on Regirock, which is really, really cool if you can pull it off. Now, it... I'm not sure how, like, I haven't played this deck that much, I'm not going to lie to you, but if, if you can get the Smeargle down to Regirog, your Manetric opponents are going to be so scared. Now, they might play Flash Energy, I talked about some in the last video, Flash Energy makes it where they have no weakness, and, uh, well, that's why you have, uh, Enhanced Hammer, discard Special Energy attached to your one, it's Pokemon, opponent's Pokemon, so now, what you can do is basically out of nowhere, switch that Dark Energy to a Fighting Energy, Put a DC on Red Rock, and you can use uh, use Enhanced Hammer, then use Unyielding Rock to knock out uh, a Red Rock, which is, I mean, not a Red Rock, a uh, Manetric EX. There we go. Now, the downside of not playing the Glade is you don't have Premonition anymore, which is, I found out of the weekend really, really good. I did like it a lot. And the cool thing about Glade as well is you can have just a DC, Lysander for Shaman, and a Knockout. But Red Rock, you need a DC, you need all this. A muscle band to knock out a shaman so it's a little bit harder and I do like the idea of the red of uh, the glade just having a DCE now I have heard a lot of people are doing well with this deck they have won multiple cities don't get me wrong uh, and in this one you don't have to max these out that is the main difference you know and the other, other one you had to max these out if you whiff the maxis against Manetric, then you're going to basically lose I mean you could win using Zorark uh, mind jack just hopefully they fill the bench up 
but it's still really, really hard. And so the Red Rock kind of just helps you uh, like a lot, lot, lot more because now you don't have to max these out. You can just automatically get the Red Rock out turn one, uh, which is great. Now the deck does play Professor Lander to search for our dark energy or fighting energy, whatever you need. Um, I'm trying to think what else is different from the list. Uh, Hex Maniac is in here to shut down a player's uh, discard. Uh, basically, you play it. You, I don't have any abilities, and my opponent doesn't have any abilities until the end of the, their turn. Until the end of your opponent's next turn, each Pokemon to play in each player's hand, and each player's part, discard piles has no abilities. This includes cards that come into play on that turn. So, uh, you know, the situational could be good. Judge, we know what that does. A Lysander, Sycamore, we know all these cards do. Uh, it's pretty much straightforward. The only difference between this list and the side list, like I said, is we're not playing Gallade, so no more Premonition, and you don't have to max these anymore. But you have this Red Rock that can use Unyielding Rock. Um, now, they both have 60, like, base. Like, they both do 60 base. It's just that Gallade does 70 more when it plays. Oh, and with Gallade, you do have to play a, uh, a Supporter as well to activate it. Well, as Red Rock, you don't. So if you're whiff whiffing a supporter card, you can just take a knockout with Red Rock as well. But the big question is, which one is better? Is Gallade better? Is Red Rock better? Gallade, you get Premonition. You can. It just needs a single DC. It could take Knockout of Shamans and a lot of other stuff. While as Red Rock, you don't have to max these it out. Um, you don't have to play a supporter card, and you have built in like enhanced damage stuff like that. Now the other, the other even tall list could as well put in hand hammers, but your that list is so much more compact and has a lot more stuff in it because you need the acrobikes, you need the trainers mail, um, you need the maxis, you need all that stuff in the deck to actually help you out. Um, and I don't know, you just it's gonna be a tough decision. Whatever you like, you go ahead and pick it. And neither is the wrong call for sure. They're both great decks. I'm just not sure which is better. I mean, it's up to you. I personally like the Glade mer more because you can use Premonition. Uh, but you do have to think a lot while using the Premonition and getting out with Maxis. Both those are very complicated. Not very complicated, but they do take some strategy. And if you're in a tournament all day, like eight or nine rounds, it will get very tiring. So it's up to you which one you like better. Uh, like I said, down below will be linked to a Saturday tournament. Now, like I said, I did get back late from a city, so I don't have, I didn't have, I didn't record, we recorded the game, we got a good game, uh, but we only had time to get one game in, so hopefully you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, if you want to see more videos with this deck, but instead with Glade, the link will be down below, and also, I know round three of Saturday tournament did not upload, uh, it, my internet cut off, it cut off late Friday night while I was uploading the stuff, and round three never got uploaded till today, and I apologize for that. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and let's see the deck connection. <laughs> Alrighty, putting against Vajra AX playing a Fighting Colors deck. So, uh, Fighting Colors Manchal? Um, Marowak? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, I feel like if it was Marowak, they might have Jolteon. Same thing with Manchal. They, I don't know. I don't know. We're we'll about to see. We'll find out together today at Pokemon Land. Uh, we got an Evatol, Double Zora, and a Shabby. That's a, that's a pretty good turn. One, put down Double Zora, and well, we probably should, I probably should not put these down. I don't think there's a way they can knock out Evatol, turn one. There we see a Lucario come down. Alright, so some kind of fighting deck, which, I mean, all we can use is just like Evatols and Evatol Axis. There we see a Sycamore discarding a bunch of stuff. Crushing Hammers, Enhanced Hammer, a uh, Fighting Stadium. Yeah, pretty much useless. They ever see a muscle band going down to the cario. A fighting energy. Uh Landorus. And probably just a pass. Like you can't attack turn one. Kind of broke if Landorus could attack. I mean have uh Lucario could attack to one. Turn one. So our turn. We top deck a battle compressor, which is great because we could discard a judge. Uh, a Sycamore. A judge, if I can find one, a judge, oh, not that card, a judge and a f dark energy. And we can put a uh, fighting energy on the, I mean, a uh, dark energy on the active. Shebe for four. And let's see, what do we draw into? I uh, got an Evatol EX, and we could just a Bolivian Wing for 30, and put a dark energy from that discard pile onto this Evatol EX. That we battle compressor it away. Alrighty, and next turn, we can put down the Zoroark, we can put down the DCE, maybe top deck a Lice, or a Vo uh, Floatstone, and let's see, Evolve will do 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. 
Um, if he puts down, nope, another energy would not do it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, there's a me Megalocara coming down, and our turn. All right, so we get down the Zorark. What does this do? Rising Fist, 140, and discard energy to the active Pokemon. All righty. Um, well, I guess we'll put a Dark Energy in the Evitol. Uh, and we'll just Oblivion Wing. I don't want to put down the Flowstone yet onto this um, Zorark just in case they like Megaphones or something. And onto our opponent's turn. Uh, now my opponent did have the advantage, so we'll have to see what happens. We'll see another Lucario coming down. Uh, strong Energy in the active. And this thing will do 140. The knock is out. But, or 160. Uh, what? Oh, because he's got the Muscle Man. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Alright, so he takes the knockout. Owned to Arterium, we'll send it to Evitol. And let's see, we're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're doing 120. Uh, 120. 140, 160. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep, and we will just Evil Ball for the knockout. Taking uh, two prize cards. So, 4 to 5 on prize cards. And next turn, can maybe li license the Lucario, knock it out. We take two. A prize cards, of course, a shaman and a dark. Now let's see if we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm, that's not a knockout. All right, so see Landers come up. A strong energy going to active. It will just do a shot of power for forty. We see a Karina. He could grab a Link and a Megalocario. Get another Megalocario out. Uh, nope, just a Locario and anything else. Hmm. Let's see. Um, maybe a Verse Seeker so you can use Sycamore. That could be cool. On uh, E Hammer. Oh, buddy. So he's going to use it to discard the DC off the active Evotol. Uh, so yeah, we see an E Hammer, Enhanced Hammer. Lakara come down. It looks like we're going to see a, oh, a letter as well. So we know my opponent doesn't have anything. So I really don't want to judge me if that situation does come up. So, we see Shadow Power for 60. Sorry about that, Yon. Okay. And let's see. It goes on to this Lucario. The full art Lucario. Forget the regular art. All right. I think we'll just license up this Lucario. Put a Dark Energy on it. Or, um, and just like Y Cyclone for 90. And moving the Dark Energy to the Zoroark. Uh, yep. And onto the Zork. And maybe that way you can start powering up Mind Jack. And the next time we check, we actually attach a fighting energy to Zork and use Mind Jack that way. It only do 70 right now, but it's also it's always cool to have it ready to go. We see a muscle band, a fighting energy. Right now you ball will do one, two, three, four, five, a hundred damage, which is not oh it is a knockout. Alright. So 140 onto the Zivatol. Takes six cards. And we get a fighting energy on this Zor. Yeah. yeah. Let's train him out first. Let's train him out so we can get. Because if we get Ultra Ball, well, that's not what I want. All right, we'll just play Compressor regardless. Uh, because if we can get out a Regirock, maybe that could be cool. Mm. Okay, let's think about this. Well, discard Compressor, Hex Maniac, and. Do we have a in the discard pile? I think we do already. Yep, we already have a in the discard pile. And I guess we will just leave it at that. That seems fine. And we'll put a Flowstone on the Zork, And we'll just sick more and draw a whole new hand of seven. All right, let's see what we get. Uh, we, okay, cool. So we got the letter. We letter for double, a, a fighting in a dark. Wait, one... One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's a knockout, making sure. Put down the Red Rock. Put down a Fighting Energy on it. Uh, put down a Muscle Band. I don't know, I just want to power up Red Rock and probably use it. I don't know, it might be useful. And we'll Evil Ball for 100. Take a knockout on the Lucario. Take a two prize cards. There's one, there's two. We could use Zorg Break next turn to Somersault Kick. Or even, uh, we could use it to use Mega Lucario. All right, so we see a Lucario come down. I mean, uh, uh, Landers, a Lucario come down. And, oh, he's going to take a knockout here. It'll do 40 to knock us out. 
Oh, buddy, and a judge going to put it down to four prize cards, or four cards in our hand. I just realized he was actually going to knock out by this Zor. I mean, this Landris. That's pretty crazy. All right, so Shadow Power, 60. And he'll get knocked out. Yep, that's that's what's happening. Yep. Okay. And on to our turn. Uh, we're going to send up this Zorark. It has the free retreat, so we'll send it up. And on to our turn. We get down to Anivatol, uh, Zor, Anivatol, 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 so there we go. And we're just going to Verse Seeker, and I'm just going to play, well, let's see. One, two, three, four. I think we'll be okay just playing Sycamore. Or, um, do we play Judge? How many Verse Seekers in this card pile? Okay, so no Verse Seekers in this card pile. So yeah, we're fine Get, grabbing Sycamore. And just playing Sycamore, discarding hand, drawing a whole new set of seven. Now, if we had a Dark Energy, I would have brought up... Uh, oh my goodness. Okay, well, I guess we won't have anything. Uh, put down the Zork. We will Enhanced Hammer, the Active. Enhanced Hammer. Discard that. Zork Break. Hmm, do we save it? Um, I think I'm just going to retreat into this Regirock. And just pass. Yep, that's all we can really do. Um, next turn, we can actually can life center up this Lucario and Summersaw kicking for 100. Now, I know that does threaten us to get knocked out the next turn, but if he does decide to attack us with this guy, we can power up an Evatol, maybe. Um, well, that won't work. Oh, we can Mind Jack for the knockout the following turn. There we go. All right, so that's what we'll probably do. Um, but we'll see what my opponent does. He could, like... Strong energy, life center of shaman, muscle man. Oh no, it already has a fighting stadium. Uh, a fighting stadium. So he can just put down a strong energy, life center shaman. Take going down a one price card. Oh, this could actually be bad. Oh man, what is going on here? How we're supposed to be beating this deck, and I've been struggling. Oh buddy. All right, so we'll see if Vajra Ex does. Maybe that's why he had the advantage. Maybe he knows something we don't know. Will we lose to the Landers Lucario deck? There we see a strong energy going down to Lucario. We will see a Lysander, Karina, okay, and I guess this will grab a Mega Lucario, oh buddy, we are about to use Zorg Break to copy a Mega Lucario's attack, that's going to be amazing, and he has a switch, uh, well, if he doesn't have a, well, I don't think Lucario has a, uh, a thing, my bobber, and he actually just switches into the, what, what's going on here, I missed something, is he just going to break right now? If he just Mega Evolves, he ends his turn. Why would he switch to Lucario? I'm so confused right now. I'm not even lying. Uh, well, he could Somersault Kick for 120. And, yep, but that's not a knockout. We have... Oh, nope, it is. Never mind. I lied. I'm a liar. Okay. Okay. So, we'll send him Zork. Hmm, we're in trouble. So, two prize cards left for us. Alright. So, we will Enhance Hammer. Discard this energy. Ultra Ball, discard these two guys. And we will get... Uh, we'll get the Red Rock just to discard it. No, we'll just get it regardless. And we will Verse Seeker. Or a Judge. Hmm. Uh, yes. Man, this is... I am so bad today. Alright, we got a DCE for next turn. So we can DCE the Zork. 36, 9, 10. Or do we Sky Return into Evatol? Doing 30 in the 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. One, that's not a knockout. 100. Hmm. Alright, we're just going to go with this. We're attached to that here. And we're just going to. We're just going to foul play and use Somersault Kick. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to go for it. We're going to see what happens. 100 damage to the Lucario. If my opponent has a strong energy versus Seeker for Lysander, bring him Shaman. Does he even have a Lysander in the discard pile? He doesn't. So he'll need a strong... Oh, there's a Shaman. Does he get an, an, a strong energy, a Lysander, or a Muscle Band and Lysander? A combination of either one of those will win the game. We see Shaman come down. He can draw up to 6. What will happen this turn? Who knows? How many strong energies has he played? He's played three so far. And he's played how many muscle bands? One. Alright, alright. Let's see what happens. 
Man, will I lose this deck? How many misplays did I make? I have no idea. I'm sorry. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hopefully we'll pick this game up though. We're just waiting to see what happens. What will Vajra EX do to us? Man, okay. Oh man! I think we're good to go. Let's see. Course you smash actually doesn't knock us out. It'll only do 100 damage. So that's nice. Oh, he's going to retreat to Landorus. All right. So it's going to come down. Do we get... Oh, Megalocara comes down. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, let's see. We got one Lysander. Both Lysanders in here. And three Burst Seekers in here. So, I uh, guess we will Trainer's Mel... Look at the top four, and there's the, oh, there's the Verse Seeker. Oh, amazing. Okay, so a Verse Seeker for a Lysander, bringing up this Lucario, and taking a knockout. Uh, we could Mind Jack for a knockout, but we are going to foul play for the Somersault Kick, taking a knockout on Lucario, and taking the game, even though we had the advantage. What happened there? And we drew into another DCE. Oh, my goodness. We... I don't know if I made any misplays. I probably did. Let me know in the comments. I know everybody will will. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but you can see the power of this deck for sure. And how cool it is um, to you know, attack with the uh, Divatals. The, you know, I don't think we attacked the Divatal. We just kind of used like... No, we did attack with the Divatal. Did we? Did we? Yeah, we did. We did. We did. That's... I think the MVP was definitely like Zorg break. Oh, no. Divatal X. Never mind. I lied. I lied. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. You can see the power of Emotal and uh, Dork and everything like that. And the big question is, which one is better? Is the uh, is the Regirock or the Gallade version better? I'm not sure. I like the Gallade version just because you have more control over your deck. And if you want to see more games to Emotal, I'll have a link down below to the Saturday tournaments uh, with the three games we played. We played round one, two, and three. You can see more games with Evotol that way. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward thing. I just want to have a game with it and show off a new deck list of Evotol. But we're probably going to be done covering Evotol for at least a little while until a new set comes out. I mean, we've covered the Gallade and the Red Rock version. Unless there's something else that comes out, then we will, of course, make a new video about it. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great Monday already. Bye.